Hi, my name is Leah Silas, and today we're going to be learning how to sort through a sample collected in the field. And the objective of this is to distinguish and separate sample organisms based on their targeted taxonomic order and dispose of non-target organisms from the sample. In this video, we're going to be working with a sample collected through a town-style malaise trap. These are the materials you're going to need for sample sorting. Your field sample containing labels on the inside and out, a clean bale top jar, and a waste bale top jar, a plastic vial rack, scintillation vials, and shell vials sitting in front of the name of the taxa they will contain, scintillation vials used for large or abundant specimen, and shell vials used for smaller or less abundant specimen. Their tops, squeeze bottles containing 95% ethanol used to wash and fill scintillation and shell vials, a large sorting tray, large and small forceps, scissors, sample labels, black pigment pen, pantyhose, and a trash tray. To begin sorting our sample, we've set up our vial station according to taxonomic order. Inside the plastic vial rack, we've placed the shell vials, and outside we've placed the scintillation vials. First, we're going to need to fill all our vials up with 95% ethanol. From your sample container, you'll need to remove the internal sample label using your large forceps. And we have to be careful to make sure that the label does not contain any organisms sticking to it. We're going to place it in our clean bale top jar. Now, we're going to dump our sample into the large sorting tray. Dump some of the ethanol. Now that some's gone, we're going to give it a swirl so that we can get the organisms moving inside. Have a nice pour. Make sure to pay attention to see if there's any organisms sticking to the inside of the jar. Just give them a wash with 95% ethanol, a little swirl, and dump them out. Nothing sticking to it, so we're good. Our next job is to remove any debris and vegetation that are going to get in the way when we're sorting our sample. Once all the lepidoptera have been removed, we focus on all non-target macroorganisms that we still want to conserve, and they'll go into the externally labeled bale top jar. We are looking for easily identifiable non-target taxa. For example, this dipterin is very easy to pick out, so we give them a shake, make sure nothing's attached to them, and place them in our bale top jar. Now only the small size specimen remain. We need to pour them back into our bale top jar. And for this we use our clean bale top jar that contain the internal label that we placed in earlier. And to do so we're going to pick this up, give it a swirl, and pour it in slowly. As you can see, some of our specimen are still stuck to our large sorting tray. So we take our squeeze bottle full of 95% ethanol and wash them off. As you can see, there's too much ethanol in the jar. We need to get rid of it by placing the ethanol inside our waste jar. 
and we use pantyhose to make sure that none of our specimen escape. Additionally, we're going to place them inside our large sorting tray so we don't make a mess just in case the ethanol spills. So first, we're going to place the pantyhose over the lip of the jar, making sure that it's nice and tight across, just like this. Then we're going to pour it inside our waste jar. Get a little bit more. That's a good enough amount. But we're not done. Some of our organisms have stuck to the pantyhose. We're going to take our 95% ethanol and wash them off. Once you've made sure that there's nothing left on the pantyhose, you can take it off. And there you have it. We're going to pour our sample into the small sorting tray. Give it a swirl and pour it in. This sample is dense, so we're only going to put half of our specimen in so that we can see what's going on. We're going to give this a shake to make sure that our specimen are spread out evenly. And if you can see, the small sorting tray has rows, which allows you to visualize your organisms left through right when you're looking through your microscope. When you're ready to start sorting, put it on the stage and begin. Your magnification should be adjusted so you only see one row through the eyepieces. While sorting, we move away non-target organisms that may obscure smaller ones. This is one of our targets. You want to grab your target organism either by the legs or by the wings so we don't break any parts. We should continue through the tray from left to right until the end of the row. Once we reach the end, we're going to move down and now read through the row right to left until we reach the other end. I have finished sorting through my sample twice and verified that no target organisms were left. I have also gone through as many times as I have needed to get through the entire sample. Now I need to pour the rest of the sample, now only containing non-target organisms, back into the bale top jar that has the external label. I need to include an additional label that denotes that all target taxa have been removed. I've also inserted the inter internal label back into this jar. I've also printed, filled in, cut, and inserted vial labels that have the location, date range, and unique identification number on the front of the label, while the back of the label contains the family that the vial is including. Now you have completed your sorting. You should dispose of all waste chemicals in the appropriate waste containers designated by the lab protocol. Store your sorted samples in an organized container in a designated location by your supervisor. Good luck and happy sorting.